Hello everyone, Space Doyster here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. In the last episode, we made our way here to the Hene Mines to find uh, a Viera named Mirn. I believe her na I believe she is Fran's sister. Anyway, in this episode, we'll be going through this room up ahead, and spoiler alert, or not, because I spoiled it last time, there's a boss up ahead. So, I set up my gambits to have Larsa use a spell he's got called Bubble. Uh, what Bubble does is it doubles your HP values. It can be very handy, because this boss up ahead does hit pretty hard. Uh, another thing I did is I equipped my three active party members with black belts. Uh, this gives... Uh, this makes them immune to disable and immobilize. Uh, this boss will use spells and abilities that, um, uh, I think it uses disable gut to try and keep everyone from not being able to do the things. That or it uses stop. If it starts casting something like that, then I'll have to switch up their accessories a bit. Anyway, this is the boss here, Tiamat. I always mispronounce it as Tiamat when I saw it on, um golden sun. Uh, it also has an AoE uh, breath attack that will, um... Oh, shoot. It... Okay. Change of plans. It's going to be using... It sets up reflect, it looks like, so don't rely on spells. Uh, it's, it is weak to ground, so um, you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. But for now, I'm going to have Ash use physical attacks rather than her magic, because it looks like it's setting up a reflect. And I do not want my party members... I don't want her killing the rest of the party. That would be bad. Why am I Balthier again? I want to be Larsa. I keep getting switched over to Balthier. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is that it uses... Um, a skill called Breath that hits in an AoE. It'll also inflict Sap, so if you have a white mage out with you that knows Regen, just cast Regen on whoever gets hit with Sap. Otherwise, you'll have to use a Remedy or the Asuna spell to get rid of it. And since Red Battle Mage doesn't know Asuna, I'm kind of um, not in a good position here. Uh, Tiamat is... Uh, yeah, he's weak to earth, and he absorbs the wind element, so make sure you are not going after him with wind-based spells. Or weapons. Uh, in the base version of Final Fantasy um, 12, uh, you would, if you were using daggers, uh, the strongest dagger you'd have available right now would have a wind element to it, so make sure if you're playing the base version, you do not use let that dagger user fight this guy. And blocking is being super effective right now, because Balthier just totally blocked that breath attack. It gets a little bit big, so if you have your party spread out like this, they might not be in range in order to... Uh, uh, heal each other or buff each other. So just run around as your healer or whoever and just stay in range of whoever is your main tank with them. I decided to set up Larsa to throw bubble up on everyone for those situations where uh, where decoy wears off and I have a tough time reapplying it. Looks like it didn't even try to use disable. I guess it knows that everyone's immune. Except maybe Larsa. I don't know if Larsa's in here. And I should have been holding down L2 this whole time. Oh well. Oh wait, now there he went for Disable Go. Or she. I think Tiamat's a female dragon. But with that, it is dead. Always so satisfying to see a good strategy pay off. <laughs> Vanilla gave us a thumbs up. Neat. Yeah, I didn't I didn't remember that it casts reflect if you're using spells on it. That was an oversight on my bad. Or on my part, that was my bad.
that cannot be good for your head. That thing inside her, what was it? Is it you? <sighs> when the Hume soldiers came to the wood, the village took small heed of them. So long as the wood herself is safe from harm, the Viera give little care to goings on beyond her. But in me, an uneasiness stirred. I had to discover why they had come. So you came here hoping to find something out and got yourself caught. You're as foolhardy as your sister. They took me then and set close beside me a stone. They said its mist would be drawn into me, that the Viera well suited this end. I saw the light coming from the stone, and then... We have seen this. On Leviathan, the mist released from the Dawn Shard drove me too into such a rage. She was taken not by the Dawn Shard. Manufactured Nethocyte. Then that means... Penella, the stone I gave you. Do you still carry it with you? Sure. It's right here. <laughs> this is a thing more dangerous again than I had imagined. I should never have given it to you. Forgive me. I, I didn't know. I'd always thought of it as sort of a good luck charm. And even if it is dangerous, on Leviathan it kept us safe. There is a place for all things, even dangers such as this. I hope you're right about that. I heard the woods whispers. Take it. Lente's tear is a permission. Pass through the wood and leave. To other places go. That cannot be all. I saw it when I left the village. Ivalice is changing. How can the Viera stand and do nothing at all? Ivalice is for the Humes. The wood alone is for us. But that is wrong! How can we just hide here in the trees, when all the world outside is on the move? I too wish to live freely, to leave this wood. Do not do this. You must remain away from the Humes. Stay with the wood. Live together with the wood. This is your way. But Fran, my sister... I am no longer of you. I have discarded wood and village. I won my freedom. Yet my past has been cut away forever. No longer can my ears hear the green word. This solitude you want, Mieren? Sister. No, Mieren. Only one sister remains to you now. You must forget my existence. <laughs> I am sorry to make you do this. She goes against the laws of the wood. I threw down these laws. It is better that I do this. Better I than one who must uphold these laws herself.
I have a request. Listen to the wood's voice for me. I fear... I fear she hates. The wood longs for you, for the child gone from under her boughs. A pleasant lie, that. Be cautious. The wood is jealous of the humes who have taken you. I am as them now. Am I not? Goodbye, sister. Gasp. I don't know if that was a new revelation, but I kind of get the feeling it was supposed to be, but it seems kind of obvious. I didn't remember if they mentioned it right away or not, so I didn't react. Anyway, we're gonna move back on. Let me get my gambits um, back to the way they were. Let's see. So for Ash, we're going to go back to having her using magic exclusively. Uh, where is Lightning Vulnerable? There it is! And then Thundaga. Thundara. And then Penel is going to turn off Decoy. And Lars is going to turn off Bubble. And finally, we're going to equip Ash with her Storm Staff. Now let's go ahead and touch the crystal. And then move on. Uh, now that we got Lente's tier, we are able to move past those barriers that were stopping us before and they were important somehow. Like this one right here. Sorry if I'm not very chatty today. Uh, I got a small headache that I'm recovering from. Took medicine a little while ago, but it still persists. I might need to see try this home remedy I saw online. Uh, it said to take uh, soak your hands and feet in the warm water, and then put something cold on the top of your head. Uh, you lean over and put it like on the back of your head. It gets blood to move away from your... Uh, I, I forget the exact thing it does, but it just gets rid of the... It helps get rid of the headache, however it does that. I guess one small thing I probably should have brought up, but have been forgetting about is that um, I've been pretty much buying new gear as it pops up pretty religiously, but you don't really need to worry about it. Um, there are going to be certain points where new gear becomes available right away, and uh, or almost uh, right afterwards, so I'll try and point out posi uh, positions you'll get to where, where the new gear that's available you don't necessarily need to get. But otherwise, you don't have to buy all the new gear that becomes available. Um, yeah, saving here, because, um, spoiler alert, we got another boss fight coming up. Oh, shoot, I should have turned my gambits back on. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, I'll turn them on in the encounter itself. I 
should have done some preparations too. This is a tricky one. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to equip Ash with the Flame Staff. Uh, this bad boy is weak to fire, I do believe. If it's not, I'll change it. Uh, we're gonna turn back on decoy and bubble. And then I'm gonna change up equipment. I want Pinello to be immune to silence again. Um, let's see. Rose Corsage. Ash, I want her to become immune to confusion if I have the right thing for that. I do not. Okay then, I'll just give her the one for silence too. And Balthier can keep the... well no, no, no. Black Belt won't do. Let's give him a Tormel. A Tormeline Ring. Yeah, uh, he's got two tree ants in the room with him. Uh, they're both weak to wind. And then the frost, or forest, I believe it's called forest worm. Let me check. Elder worm himself is weak to fire. And he's got protect and shell up. Let's go ahead and disable. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, it just uses a lot of status ailments making this a rather annoying encounter. Uh, like the, uh, like Tiamat before it, this guy can use a breath attack that it hits in a cone, so do try to position your tank to be in a position away from it. And this is the big thing to watch out for, Spore Fall. Sporefall inflicts all of these status ailments, but for some odd reason it only hit both here. Uh, uh, this guy also does have a fire attack, so if you get hit with oil, I highly recommend getting it war uh, off of them real quick. Manello should have haste, right? Not yet, no. But that's okay. I don't need Balthier to be fast, I just need him to take the hits. Oh, never mind. He is weak to wind, not fire. Good to know. Sorry, that was misinformation on my bad. I just assumed because he was covered in grass and looked like a dragonish Bulbasaur that he was weak to fire. try and keep Larsa positioned right between the ladies and Balthier, so that way, that way he can keep Balthier healthy and keep everyone buffed up. Um, gonna need Penelo to uh, decoy Balthier, so she's gonna have to move close. having a tough time this thing. Do Decoy is tough to get on in the middle of a boss fight, so it's tough to really recommend using it religiously. All right, back to Larsa. And I did, uh, I do have Larsa programmed to heal too, so even with Pinello not being close, Larsa can still get the job done. I'm not exactly sure what the area of effect is for Sporefall, because last time it only hit Balthier. And this time it only hit Balthier. I probably should have set up a gambit to get uh, to get rid of oil, because that was bad. <laughs> anyway, that's the Elder Worm down, and believe it or not, the Elder Worm is completely optional. You can skip it if you want to. Of course, skipping it is actually a lot tougher than actually fighting it, but it is possible. Uh, with the Lente's tier, you can go through a, a a different part of the woods and enter a different area that's more late game. 
uh, but um, going through that area is a lot tougher. All the enemies there are a lot tougher than the ones we just finished fighting here. So I wouldn't recommend doing it, but again, it's an option. And I mean, that's supposed to be a good thing, right? Options. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and turn those gambits back off. Uh, let's see, just decoy and bubble. Yeah, I'd really only recommend turning the buffing gambits on during boss fights or for particularly tough encounters. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, because um, having someone constantly casting buffs means you have to run around as them constantly since they'll have to, since they'll be casting spells the whole time. And by the whole time, I mean the whole time. Like, they'll have to stop and cast a new spell every five seconds. I'm gonna touch the save crystal to get rid of all these status conditions. And then we're gonna go right back through here and continue on our way. Yeah, not too much more to add to that. Um... Like I said, uh, well, like I said during the boss battle, having a red battle mage or a black mage to use air arrow uh, will be really handy since it can, since all three of the enemies you encounter are weak to wind. And if you're playing on the PlayStation 2 version, you wouldn't have access to the element weak gambits just yet, so just, uh, either have the characters set up to use their use arrow uh, instead of attacking or uh, have them cast it manually yourself yeah. all right so I'm gonna go down first and then I'm gonna hit that big platform that's on the northern side if it is it's even normal why am I both here again eh, it keeps swapping me back and I'm so used to uh, running around as Balthier, I don't even notice. They, don't, they didn't do a very good job of programming it to keep keep in mind that you can be your guests. Uh, but that's okay. Now, there's another one of those tree ant enemies. Uh, they're, uh, for the most part, completely docile, except for in that one boss encounter. And, um, I did get through that, uh, Kirby game, the new one that came out, Star Allies. It was a lot of fun, I'd recommend it. I'm gonna, gonna get that review posted up soon. I'm gonna have to work on it, and then, yeah, it's gonna be my first video review. Should be lots of fun. I hope it turns out good. I did try writing a few reviews, but they didn't, um, I guess a few of them were popular, but I... Uh, never really got a lot of credit for them. I guess I could always try and um, re-upload them as videos here to YouTube, but that might get tricky, because I don't remember where I put the scripts. I've had to change computers at least three times since I wrote those. And I don't think I remember the login information. Remedies! Remedies are awesome, and those two still haven't gained a level! Unless I was supposed to swap them out a while ago, but I don't think so. How many things weak to arrow? What is up with that? This big platform was what I wanted to get to. I decided to go uh, down the south pass first, because I thought there might be something there, but there wasn't. I 
anyway, go through this exit up here, and we will be through the Golmar jungle. And on to... Uh, Mount Bur Omises. Oh, wait, no we're not. This is the Paramina Rift. Never mind, I thought the whole mount... I thought this whole area was Mount Bur Omises, but no, it's just Paramina. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I think we got enough time. I'm gonna make a save right here. Mm. Well, you know what, actually, no, I probably shouldn't. Don't want to push my luck too much. I'll go ahead and call this an episode here. Uh, next time, we'll continue through the Paramino Rift and uh, kick all kinds of name. Well, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Space Doyster, signing out.